Hey everyone, today we'll be learning how to play The Morning by The Weeknd and it sounds like this. What's up everybody? My name is Simone from Your Guitar Academy. In this The Morning Guitar lesson, we'll be learning how to play a sort of finger style arrangement for beginners uh, for this song by The Weeknd. Guys, just before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all the other guitar lessons that we upload for free here on YouTube. Uh, this lesson is brought to you by a comment that some of you left under other video lessons that we have by the weekend. So here is the tutorial to play the morning. Um, guys, also all the chord diagrams for the chords that I'm going to show you in a minute will be available in the full write-up uh, on our website. So you can just find the link in the description here below and you can check out all the other links to our free courses here in the uh, description as well. Okay guys, so let's get started saying that today we are playing the acoustic guitar with uh, standard tuning but capo on the second fret. So all the chords that I will name will be referred to the capo on the second fret. Now, uh, we only need four chords to play this song today. The four chords are G, C, A minor 7, E minor. Okay, we are going to play finger picking as I said, so we are just going to use uh, four fingers and then a sort of slap percussion with the thumb. Now, the way I play the G is not the classic G that you might already know. I'm honestly just playing two fingers on this G, the second one here and the third here, as you can see. It's not because I'm choosing <clears throat> a sort of uh, different voicing for this chord, it's just because finger picking I'm not using the A string, I'm not using the high E string on the G, so even if I use the first and, and little finger here, they're just not going to change the sound of this chord, so I just find myself more comfortable using these two fingers. You might give it a go if you have never tried this before. Um, so as I said, the uh, chord diagram for this G as well will be available in the link in the description. So after this G you move to a classic C major here, then from C major you want to go to A minor 7 and to do that you just need to remove your ring finger and you're already playing an A minor 7. <clears throat> so the A minor 7 is basically an A minor without your ring finger. That's why coming from C where you remove the ring finger on the C and you've got your A minor 7. The last chord is going to be E minor 7. Now uh, the groove of this song is really uh, a slow groove but very groovy so the tempo is quite slow we are in 4x4 but we are really really groovy so it's really important to be groovy so you want to play four fingers at the same time on your right hand on your picking hand and this is going to be thumb on the E then you skip the A like we said and we apply index middle and ring finger <clears throat> on the G and B strings this is because your root note for the G is here on top from here you go to C <clears throat> the three fingers, index, middle and ring finger on D, G and B strings are not changing at all. So you are just going to change your thumb from the E to the C. To, uh, to the C, which happens to be on the A string. So here, so from the E to the A string. Then you stay there for the A minor 7 and you go back on top with the thumb for the E minor without changing again index, middle and ring finger. So we can say that index, middle and ring finger stay on these three strings D, G and B all the time. It's just the thumb that moves between the A and the E strings on top depending on where the root note of these chords is. Uh, the rhythm is quite simple. You're going to play two beats for each chord. So for example it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so you hit the strings only once for each chord on the beats 1 and 3 of each bar. On the beats 2 and 4 I advise to do a percussion. Now the best way to do this percussion is doing a sort of rotation with the thumb that creates a sort of slap over the strings like 1, 2, this kind of movement. If you're not familiar with this kind of slap and you can't control it it's absolutely fine if you get started just with all the fingers going on top of the strings to stop the sound of the strings, to stop the vibration of those strings. So it's gonna sound like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
score. One, two, three, four. All right. This is all what you do for the entire song. It just has to be extremely groovy. So it's a good way to start getting used to the fingerstyle patterns and arrangements, even if you are a beginner, because the chords are Chords are really easy and what you do on, the, on your right hand is very steady, very regular so you can just stay there and repeat the same movement all the time and practicing, um, practicing the, the sound of the percussion that you want to obtain on the string to stop the sound but at the same time create something very groovy where the drums play uh, the snare in the record. Okay guys, so this is exactly what you need to play in order to, uh, to learn the morning by the weekend. Let us know in the comments if you found uh, this lesson helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to check out all the other guitar lessons that we have uh, here on YouTube for the weekend songs and many other artists. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you next time. <music>